so enough of you were interested in my gardening exploits that I decided over on this channel I'll do the occasional gardening video and today I have just about had enough with clay soil for those who don't know. I live about 25 miles west of Portland, Oregon. I'm up in the foothills of the coastal range and it's basically nothing but clay soil. And when I say clay soil, I mean this really thick, ooey, gooey, horrible clay soil. Now, the dark stuff that you see there is some of the local compost that I've purchased. Here it is here. This is good local, well-rotted compost from a local supplier. And it costs, let's see, $20 for a cubic foot, sorry, a cubic yard, which as it happens, is about all I can fit in this when I've got the top hole in and stuff on. So I've used a cubic yard on that first box and the rest of this is probably gonna go in this box. What I've done today is I've been rototilling or rotivating the soil. This was previously really boggy, just like grass. This has not ever been seeded properly. The previous owners didn't really do gardening and they actually scalped all of the grass and they had bonfires and we've had moles and it's really uneven. You see loads of different types of grass. It's almost pasture-like mix. We've got loads of plantain. And back there, a lot of the soil doesn't actually grow much grass. In the corner there, you'll see some marking pegs. That's where my wife is gonna build a wood shop. And right here, so from here up to there and down that end is where we're planning on building our chicken coop. I'm not 100% vegetarian. I do, I do occasionally eat meat. Um, I try and eat vegetarian wherever possible and I have decided that it's okay for us to have chickens. Uh, chickens help with the soil quality. Chicken poop is a great fertilizer. We've actually got a compost heap down there. And so we've got seven chicks on order that will be with us on the 11th of April. So we've got to build the coop before then. Um, let me see if I can remember which ones we're doing. We're doing a blue laced, sorry, a red, red laced blue wine dot, um, a cream leg bar, a buff orpington, a lavender orpington, a dark baran, a black copper, sorry, a, um, a French black copper barans, and I can't remember the last one. I want to say a cream, no, we've already said cream leg bar. Uh, one of the leghorn varieties, and I can't remember which of the leghorns, but it's one of the leghorns. I think it's a... I want to just say it's a... I want to say it's like a cream a leghorn um, we're getting. So we've got a different mixture of hens. One of them we're hoping will be a rooster because we live out in the country and there are coyotes and there are locally people have seen black bears and um, other critters that live in the area. So we want something to keep the chickens safe. And frankly, while River is the most amazing Labrador, aren't you River? You're the most amazing Labrador. She kind of sucks when it comes to being a guard dog. Right, River? I've been using an electric rotavator for this. I was going to double dig it by hand because that's what I grew up with in the UK, but this clay soil is just so thick, I just would never have got it. Um, so I'm using a... What is this? A Sunjo rototiller. It's electric because I didn't want to have a fossil fueled one. And it is the highest power one that you can get. Even it is struggling on this clay soil, it keeps cutting out. And so to deal with that, I've basically been rototilling it like three or four times and each time I've been lowering the level to get it to behave itself. I'm gonna rake in the rest of this. So I've treated this because I want to put potatoes in this one. And so I've got to go six inches down with the potatoes, 
because this is about six inches and you plant potatoes about six inches into the ground. So that will be at the basically the interface between the box and the soil underneath. So I want to have six inches underneath that's nice and soft and well treated so that the potatoes grow down. Otherwise, I'm just not going to have any potatoes pushed through this at all. So there we have it. Uh, the, the box is going in now. We've managed to break one of the ends of the box. And this is just a just a pin I think it's probably a gate pin that I found in the yard I'm glad that the rotavator didn't kick that up not very good okay has made these boxes out of pressure treated lumber yeah. PTL and um, we've got one that's broken so we're gonna have to fix that and then we can fill it up and it'll look like that but this this soil is just oh my god how wet is it, Kate? It's so wet. Not in a good way. What are you doing, Kate? I am fixing this with some outdoor glue. Yeah. And some super glue. Yeah. Because reason. Science? Because science. Because science, River. He's like, science. He's like, science. I love me some science. Hi! No, don't sit in the don't sit in the mud. So yeah, Kate's door. woodworking has provided the wood shavings, but they've already been <laughs> pretty much. They've already been up. consumed. Oh, you're gonna have to do the other end as well. They're both broken. Oh yeah. That's alright, these things happen. So. Alright. And there you have it. We've got one that I did last week. And one that we did today. River has been helping me all day. And our nearly two cubic yards of compost is now, what, a quarter of a cubic yard? Maybe like two wheelbarrowfuls. So, uh, awesome. <laughs>